All right, let's continue to simplify radicals into mixed radical form. And let's start by factoring, uh, or rather just doing a factor treat for 72. 72 divided by 2 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now we can't divide 9 by 2 anymore, but we can divide it by 3. And 9 divided by 3 is just 3. So now that we only have prime num prime numbers, sorry, <laughs> now that we only have prime numbers, we're done with our factor tree. And 72 is just 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So now let's rewrite that. For here we have the 2 outside of the radical. So I have a big radical. And instead of 72, I'm just going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Wow, that was an ugly through two times three times three, and we still have the x cubed y squared. And now let's take out the numbers inside the radical in pairs. So these two twos come out, and these two threes come out also. So we get we, ha we still have just this one lonely two waiting outside and we're going to multiply them by another two which basically comes from these two twos over here so we still have the radical we still have a two inside the radical by itself right because it didn't have another two to form a pair with and oh whoops I actually forgot to take out the 3 because we had a pair of 3's which just becomes a 3 outside the radical so all these guys are gone except for the 2 and the x cubed and the y squared so we have x cubed so I'm gonna write that as x times x times x times y squared which is just y times y and now we can combine 2 times 2 times 3 is just 12. And we ha also have a pair of x's that I can take out as just 1x outside of the radical. And a pair of y's, which I can take out as just 1y outside of the radical. Then we have just the root of 2 times the one lonely x that stayed inside the radical. And we're done. This is the fully uh, basically uh, factored form of the mixed radical of 2 root 72 x cubed y squared. What about over here? We have the negative root of 144 m to the 6 n. So let's work on a factor tree for 144. 144 divided by 2 is 72. Divided by 2 is 36. Divided by 2 is 18. Divided by 2 is 9. 9 divided by 3, now I can't divide it by 2 anymore, of course. 9 divided by 3 is just 3. Okay, so we have negative. Now instead of actually just um, doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, I'm just going to write 2 to the power of 4. I hope no one's upset by that. <laughs> and we have 3 times 3, which is just 3 squared. And we have still an m to the 6 inside times n. And we still have a negative outside over here. Okay, so now how do we just take out all these twos and the threes from inside? Well, one trick is that every time that we have an even power inside the square root, we can actually just take out the base and divide the exponent by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So these guys are already outside the radical. 3 squared, so I can write the base outside, divide the exponent by 2. So 3 divided by 2 is just 1, already also outside the radical. And we have m to the power of 6. So I can take out the m, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we still have the root of n. n is to the power of 1, 
That's an odd number. We don't want to divide it by 2, so we just want to leave it inside the radical. So let's just simplify this slightly, make it look nicer. So we still have negative. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 to the 1. 3 to the 1 is just 3. So 4 times 3 is just 12. We still have the m cubed root n. So the fully factored mixed radical form of negative root 144 m to the 6 n is just negative 12 m cubed root n. And at this point, we're done.